Well, I, if you've noticed, he literally froze if he said that. A. And B, if you've noticed, Jake likes to take all the technical issues and turn them into bloopers. So. I feel the pressure on camera now. Yes. I don't know if I can be myself. So, you know, did I freeze just now at all? You, fr you froze, like, for a second. One of us is freezing. It's one of our internet's fault, and I don't know who's. I was on a uh, Google Hangout a second ago. I was fine. Okay, give me one second. Is this any better? Riveting TV. For, for on my end, it's not bad. Like I, I can still, it might be a little bit delayed, but I can still hear you fine. Hold on, you you did not come through clearly. I'm just gonna like close a bunch of tabs. Yeah, I can hear you, and I don't think it's me. What? No, I think it's me. Greg, good morning. Jake, oh, I just called you Jake. <laughs> go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> go. <laughs> you know my name is, it's right there. Right? Yes. I know, I'm thinking, because think, I know Jake's listening and everything, so now I'm just thinking that he's going to be doing it. All right, Juan, let's, let's start over again. <laughs> Greg, good morning. Alex, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for joining me on this Monday of ours. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be part of this. Um, so, so as you probably know by now, this is, this is Meet the Team Monday. Welcome. Um, to get started, I think, I think what the people really want to know, I think the deep question burning inside the hearts of all your fans, wow. what's your favorite color? What's my favorite color? Mm -hmm. So I have an interesting answer to this, because I have a real favorite color and I have a fake favorite color. My fake favorite color is blue. My real favorite color is black because I feel like when you just tell people like, "Hey, like my favorite color is black," like they always tell me like, "That's not a color." It's like, I'm like, "Well, it is." Like, because everything I got besides this shirt, like all of my clothes are I, I wear like the color black all the time. Like, on paper, my favorite color is black because I wear it more most often. But for something like this, I'll say blue. So wow. I'll, I'll give you my fake answer just because wow. everyone's like, "Oh, like, blue." That's like the it's my second favorite color. It's it like, seems like based on the color of your walls, too, you like all the different shades of black. You like the grays. Oh yeah. 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 Big color guy. Amazing. Wow. That was a heck of an answer. I did not expect that. You got to keep the people on their toes. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's, let's change it up a little bit. Let's see if we have any unexpected ones for this one. What is your favorite sports team? Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, born right outside of Boston. My uh, favorite team's Pats. Patriots. New England Patriots. Why'd you have me even ask that? It's a pay oh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, well, next one. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to justify it? Do you want to talk? No. About was, it? Well, there's nothing to justify. It's, I mean, it's a pretty good answer. Do so. you want to talk about how you guys are going to be nine and six going into your week seventeen matchup with the Jets? And you're going to lose you, and then lose the. Do you want to talk about your last Super Bowl presence? I don't. No. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. <laughs> all right. Maybe uh, let's maybe focus it a little bit on uh, on your work as an SDR. You did. You are a former member of the Presidents Club here at the Man Drive, so you clearly know what you're doing. Talk to me a little bit about uh, personalization and your strategies with it, and why you think it's so important for the role. Yeah, no, that's a really good question. Personalization, like nowadays, is like super important because a lot of times a lot of reps might get caught up with templates and phone and just purely phone calls, which obviously do work from an outbound perspective too, but. If you do email and you make it personal, it can actually like the email itself can sell the person more on what you're doing rather than just trying to like play the numbers game and hopefully get in contact with them at like the time where like, oh, this is a perfect fit. So yeah, like I think just personalizing a little bit just shows that you're human. And I think people specifically like buying from people or like engaging with people because um, every time like, you know, if I if I send a personalized outreach to somebody, you know, whether it's just a personalized email or maybe I'll throw a personalized video in there too. Like the response that you always get, or what a lot of people who personalized videos get, or video uh, or email outreach is like, oh, thank you for reaching out, and the conversation's like super easy from there. And then sometimes if you don't personalize it, it's still not like a negative thing, but the person will be it will be more of like a I guess like a business transaction if that makes sense. It's more like straightforward, and they'll come back with a direct question, but it's. 
if you show like you've done your research and you have like a reason for ex a reason for reaching out to that person in particular and also a reason for reaching out to the company i think it just like helps it makes like it's a world of difference when it comes out yeah. reach. i love it great advice You're great sdr greg thanks so much for joining me today i'll speak with you soon wow thank you alex appreciate it